Hello everyone, The Flying Scotsman here and welcome to this video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to copy an audio CD and copy all the files onto a USB pen drive or USB flash drive or whatever you want to call it. Now you would want to do this because you probably have a modern car which maybe doesn't have a CD audio player or a cassette player or whatnot and your only way of being able to play your tunes is through a USB stick. So to do this, I'm going to use iTunes. And the reason I'm going to use iTunes is because, well, that's what I use because I have an iPod Touch and that's how I manage my music. So you'll want to get that and you want to have it installed. And what you're going to want to do is, before we do anything, you're going to want to make sure that when importing CDs, your files are in an MP3 format. And that's going to make it the most compatible it can be with your car's dashboard. So to do this, when you're in iTunes, you want to go to Edit, then Preferences, and then click on Import Settings. Now, we're going to go to MP3 Encoder. And then what we're going to do is go down to Custom. And... We're going to go here to where it says stereo bitrate and we'll click on the down arrow on this top box here and we're going to go down to 320 kilobits. Now that is about as close to CD quality as you're going to get with MP3. Now your file sizes are going to be larger but it's going to be worth it. You don't want anything lower than 256 otherwise you'll find that your highs, like your cymbals, hi-hats, that sort of stuff, they'll start to sound a bit metallic and not that good. So, we'll click OK in here, um, and it'll say what it is, 160k mono or 320k in stereo. So click OK, that's what we want. And then we're going to click OK again. Now, now we're ready to actually import some files. Now, most modern computers won't have an optical drive. They're like your car's dashboard. So if you're going to import a CD, make sure you have an external drive. You can buy them. They um, connect to your computer over USB. Or if you have a machine with an internal drive, you're good to go. I'm on my laptop here, so I'm using an external drive. So what we're going to do is going to put the CD in. Now, this is a disc that I found in a charity shop this afternoon. It's um, Billy Piper's first album, back when she was still known as Billy. So, I think she was the doctor's assistant, so Whovians will be very happy with this. So, CD will take a minute or two to load up. Now, it will ask you what um, album it is and I think it's Billy by Billy Piper so there we go and um, we've got um, and we have the track listings now that is quite useful to have so that is good that we've got them now it's going to ask do you um, would you like to import this CD now what we're gonna do is we're going to click yes so this I think, depending on the speed of your optical drive, this will take um, probably about uh, three and five minutes, between three and five minutes. So the best thing I think you can do while this is happening is go and make yourself a lovely wee cup of tea. A few moments later. So once this is done copying, you'll get a noise that sounds like an iPhone getting a text message or something like that. So, now the album is imported into iTunes, we can click the Eject button, and that will now go ahead and eject the CD for us. So the next part of this exercise is we need to find out where the album is stored on the computer and copy it over to a USB drive. Now, what I'm going to do is I have a USB drive here. I'm going to insert it into a spare USB port. So, 
and there we go so that's it um asking now you know do i want to copy the contents over to my dropbox or google drive i absolutely do not and i'm offended uh, that it would ask such a thing so the easiest way of finding out where your newly starred album is actually in itunes you can click on it it will expand the album's uh, track list right click click with the right mouse button on any one of these tracks anyone at all will click on right click on get all friend here and show in windows explorer now if you're on a mac that would be shown in finder but for windows want to show it in windows explorer excellent now we have a windows explorer window open here so these are the tracks now what i want to do is copy the folder rather than just the tracks itself so i'm going to actually go back the way to do that so that is the name of the folder right at the right hand side of the address bar it shows us the path so this pc the data drive and you know basically the folders that it's in so i'm going to go click on the second last folder that is in here so there we go billy and what i'm now going to do is right click on it and select copy on windows 10 you'll have a copy option i'm on windows 11 on windows 10 actually i'll show you what it looks like so if you go to show more options then you'll see the traditional right click menu and you can go there and click copy okay so right click and if you don't have the traditional menu you can click show more options and then click on copy and then we have the flash drive here it's um, i believe it's this one there we go country there we go it's um got a lot of music already so now we want to paste billy's album onto this flash drive so to do that i'm going to right click again and because i'm on windows 11 i'm going to go to show more options and then click paste um i have TerraCopy installed now normally it will just go ahead and copy but because i have an, another uh, file copier installed it's going to ask me what i want to do so i'm just going to let windows explorer copy it and there you go so once that's copied you'll be able to eject your usb flash drive and that will be all the music copied so there you go that is how you would go about copying music from an audio cd to a usb flash drive now you should be able to then take this flash drive now it's finished copying what we can do you don't necessarily need to safely eject a flash drive now but just in case you want to bide canny you can do so I'll go to this option here, safely remove, uh, the safely remove option, and I'll eject the mass storage. There we go. And that is the flash drive safely ejected. And what I can do is I can take this now and I could play it in someone's car. How legal is this? Well, that really is out with the scope of this video technically in the uk it is illegal to format shift media but um well i would love to tell you my views on that but i'm afraid i would be demonetized so instead i shall end this video here and i would like to thank you all for watching so i hope you've all found that helpful please feel free to leave a comment and hopefully you will join me for my next video cheerly bye Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel and hit the wee bell icon to be notified when I have published a new video. But until then, please feel free to check out some of my previous videos.